and I believe TNT Sports, right? So Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers direct to consumer kind of streaming service, which is just around sports um, to kind of combat that. I, I'm going to then kind of counter a point that you said, because I, I, on one side, I agree with you. I think mm -hmm. NBA has done well with casual fans in the past. And I think that's why my question is there around where does the NBA go when KD, LeBron, and Steph retire? Because a casual fan knows them. They resonate with them. I don't believe on one side – is a casual fan on a Monday night going to seek out where the game is? To your point, if they don't have whatever the streaming service, or if it's not on YouTube TV or Sling TV or whatever, are they going to be searching for the Grizzlies against the Rockets? Probably not, right? And I think what's about to happen or what we're going to see, we're going to see the shift is you you talked about football there. Football has a, a, a one-up where yeah casual fans can lock in for a day or a couple days right maybe thursday sunday or sunday monday for fantasy right and they can casually watch or they can sit on the couch and it's also like a day where like they're not a lot of people aren't doing anything on sundays so it's kind of perfect where the nba does not have i think that aspect where like a casual fan can just for one day no no for one day hey i can lock into a few games and be able to watch and consume a ton of things. And it's, you know, I can text with friends and all the things, right? I also think football has a advantage in the terms of the affinity that we have for our teams. People truly care about their football teams, right? And then, you know, a little bit down, they care about the players who you know, play for those teams. I don't think that that has been the case for the NBA. The NBA has been so star driven for the past couple decades 